What's happening, everybody? Michael, the creative director of NASCAR 08 here. Lead designer for NASCAR 08. How's the game coming? What you got? Sir, I am so excited to share with you what my team has come up with. NASCAR 06, NASCAR 07, we lost our way a bit at EA Sports, but we are bringing the coolness back to the series. I don't need you to give me a f***ing soliloquy. Tell me what you got. Okay, okay. So, like I said, rolling it back to Thunder 03, we are going to have such an in-depth career mode. You're going to build your own team, work your way up through all the different series, and slowly make the cars better. The AI is intuitive, and one thing that you're going to be really excited about, the car of tomorrow, all of them are going to have the manufacturer's branding across the front of the car. You're going to know exactly what you're driving when you hit the track. Sir, do you, uh... Did you hear what I said? Oh, I heard what you said, Marty McFly. I just didn't like a single f***ing bit of it. Really? Well, can you tell me what you didn't like? Said our customers do not want some fully in-depth career custom bullshit. They're not looking for manufacturer branding on the cars. They want racks. That's what every NASCAR fan likes. More wrecks. I want these cars to basically spin themselves out. With all due respect, sir, that's f***ing stupid. You know, I didn't hear you once mention the customer paying for anything once they install the game. One time flat fee? That's not how we roll at EA. So what the f*** are you saying to me? I'm saying you gotta bring this game back to phase one. Phase one? It's supposed to release in a month? You'll figure it out, and if you can't, then we'll find someone who can. F*** you. All right, well, with that, you are fired, and I'm gonna hire someone that can get the job done. Hey. I'm Owen. Now you look like you know how to get the job done. It's amazing that that entire intro is based on a true story. What's happening, everybody? I am Mike Umbrooks, and welcome back to NASCAR 08. And before I continue, do you see this on the side of my head? Do you see the haircut I got and how it's just this straight line across? And what the hell is this? It's like a perfect right angle in the corner of my shit. I'm not a square. Now I gotta live my life like a freaking sideshow clown. Anyway, that's not why we're here today critiquing my hair. We're here to drive more cars and get more barrel rolls and flip the doos and wherever the heck we can find them with the NASCAR 08 Cup cars. Apparently, I've been making a mistake. Apparently, the Gen 4 car is the one that really does the lots of the flips. I've been using nothing but the Coro tomorrow, the COT. We got to try some of this other stuff and see if we can have some of the same results. Now, we got a lot to live up to because we've had some great results to this point at Martinsville, at Bristol, at the Talladega. I'm going to all them good, good tracks and we're going to see what the hell we can come up with. So, if you're ready, I'm freaking ready. I think we should do Daytona because I just saw it on the screen before it transitioned and start there because they're going to Daytona this week. What the hell? Let's get this video started. Let's go! I'll tell you what, I'm hungry. All I had were three Krispy Kreme donuts for breakfast. I picked the single sexiest car in this game. I feel kind of bad that I'm about to drive it into the oncoming shits, but eh, what the hell. I just gotta get this out of my system. You know, we're gonna have some actual racing here going forward, but it's Daytona week, it's speed weeks, man. I, 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 got, I, got, I, I gotta do this. <laughs> Where the fuck am I going? We gotta try to avoid all that contact. Does he know who he's talking to? Yo, what the hell happened? That was like some Harry Potter stuff. I was up in the heavens, and then I was immediately brought right back. 
what was that? And I left this purple skid mark on the wall. Everybody's bouncing around like in their some sort of fun house. I feel like I'm looking into a freak show mirror, mostly because of my haircut. And there are so many cars just bouncing. Bouncing. Seriously though, what the fuck was this? I was up there, that zip. It's like I had some sort of teleportation device or, again like the Harry Potter, I pushed my cart into that solid brick wall and I teleported down into Hogwarts. We are all the way on the fucking back straightaway and McNugget's car looks like shit. It looks like someone picked this little weenie up and smacked them down over their knee. Tried to break that bitch in half. Let's ride along with him and see what the hell could have possibly happened to get his car to look this fucked up. I'm going in the air right now. I just zipped back down. He's got to get hit at some point and it's just like the game didn't realize that it hadn't happened yet. What the holy mother of fucking God. What are these cars doing? It's like they forgot how to be cars. And now it's car looks fine. It looks like nothing even happened to it. He's just hanging out with Vickers over here. Look like Ricky Crud had a hell of a time, so let's see what, he's just, he's already losing it. Uh, did you, so why did he get so loose like that? Imp was the one that plowed right into me. I'm gonna have my lawyer get in touch with you because you had ample time to avoid my Prilosec purple lightning ass and you drove right into it. Now I'm gonna be seeing a chiropractor for the next 30 months. Who's gonna pay those bills? Probably not you. I can't imagine Snickers is paying you well. You're like a thousand years old. Why are you representing a candy bar? Why do all the Roush cars show up to the track broken? Let's see it, Vickers. This, this seems, whoa, 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 whoa. In the track, out the track. Up goes the weasel! All these tricky cars, up and down, in and out. <laughs> That's like a Friday night for me, eh? You know how after like a thunderstorm, sometimes you'll go outside and you'll see like a tree branch that's fallen and it like jabbed itself into the earth? That's what Ricky Crud is right now. He's the stick. I am the thunderstorm. And the Daytona track is the earth. You know what sucks about this is I have such nostalgia for this game. But on like the PS2 side, I never did this Xbox 360 shit growing up. On the PlayStation side, uh oh, oh, hang on, do we got David Jeff Burton? We'll, we'll buff that out. I have such nostalgia with the PlayStation 2 version, because that one you could actually drive and it wasn't a big pile of, of shit. I, I like that and I'm seeing in the, the menu, I'm jamming out to the music, the soundtrack is off the hook. But why, what did they do? Like you would think with a, I hate that fucking apron. With a more powerful console, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and they make a game that I wouldn't give to my worst enemy. I would feel bad giving this to my worst enemy. I really would, because it's so terrible. If I was asked by the person I hate most, Michael, what game, what NASCAR game should I play? And like, okay, at first I'm gonna give them this because I hate them. But then after a little while, I'm gonna start to feel really bad and I'm gonna take it out of their hands and I'm gonna be like, here, take the PS2 copy. And then they're gonna be like, why the fuck did you do that? And I'm gonna be like, you know what? I really, I, I feel wrong for giving you that, that game because it's so bad. And then they're gonna think because we hate each other so much, they're gonna think that I'm lying and they're gonna end up playing this version anyway. Fuck this goddamn controller. We're gonna end up playing this anyway, and then they're gonna realize how bad it was and that I was actually trying to help them and protect them, 
and then they're gonna be like, whoa, Michael was trying to protect me from this atrocity. Maybe I shouldn't hate him as much. And and then we're gonna like start to become friends again and we're not gonna hate each other so much. So it almost would like cure hatred between me and my, my biggest enemy. I only had three Krispy Kreme donuts. Where are all the goddamn fucking flips? I was flipping like crazy. Come on. What am I gonna do? Sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it doesn't. I don't think that game designer did a very good job, the new one that they hired, when it came to flipping. I want it whenever I want it. I don't wanna have to really work for it. Oh shit, what the hell happened down here? Bunch of people that don't know what they're doing. Yeah, of all of us out on the track, y'all are the ones that don't know what you're doing. Ah! Okay, that was my best shot at flipping over, having something happen. I don't know, y'all told me that the Gen 4 car, that was the car. If you wanted to be doing some flips, that was the one to be doing. Finally! Come to the checker flag! We're gonna try some new shit. I found some settings online that might add to the blow over capabilities well that ain't good oh my god oh shit i wasn't even really trying that hard oh my god thank what the fuck no 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 not again what the fuck is the car doing what is the car doing I'm hitting the gas and it was like speeding up in reverse. This setup has given me absolutely no grip and I'm just piling into everybody. I'm so goddamn sorry. If you want to blame anyone, blame the crew chief, which is also technically me, but still. It's resorted to this because the goddamn thing is too loose. This is fucking impossible. Come on. I want to go the right way. I'm actually trying. What the fuck? is happening in front of me? This entire race, all I've really done is just spin around. I really need someone to help me. I think that that barrel roll that I did, I think it severely damaged some of the internal components. And ever since, I just had no grip. Oh my God. I didn't win the fucking race. I should not be doing burnouts like that. If there was ever going to be a track that could salvage whatever the fuck Dover just was, it's definitely Martinsville! Yeah! Oh, look at Thank you. Thank you, Gedrader. Of course! There was a beautiful moment right there where my Prilosec OTC was levitating in the Martinsville stratosphere. Never before seen in the history of man a car floating as if it had just been blown out of a spout of a bubble. There's no need to rewind the video. I'm going to give you an instant replay. Oh! What the fuck is the car doing? Going back and forth like that when I'm not even hitting a button. I swear to you, I'm not hitting nothing right now. This shit's got a mind of its own. What the hell just happened? I barrel rolled out of pit road. I, I, I fucking killed all those people. There is no, you are not telling me that I somehow, again, magically teleported by the way of Prilosec back in on this side of the catch fence. I am out there. I am rolling all over on those poor people. I'm sorry, but it's true. All of y'all are fucked. And then my car just starts doing this back and forth. It's like, you know, in like the mental asylum, they just sit there and go, Oh, all day long 
waiting for their Prilosec OTC! Oh. If I don't eat something more today other than Krispy Kreme donuts, I'm gonna be fine! My shit's looking like McNuggets now! It's like a hot dog without the wiener! Good luck to me trying to drive this piece of shit, am I right? Oh, look at that! I hit someone and it's back to normal! I'm not even attempting to drive at this point! It's such a stupid game! Driving into people is way more fun! The fact that I'm able to do this has got to be one of the dumber parts of this entire game. Why am I... Actually, I take that back, because otherwise every other game takes control over your car. Why should that be? This is more of a realistic experience, honestly. What I don't care for is how fucking hard it is to turn the car around. And then every time they hit you, and I gotta start all over again. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I might be... Someone, hey, hey! Can someone possibly find it within their heart? Oh, okay, the game. Yeah, fuck all y'all. You aren't gonna leave me like that. I just wanted to try to get back around and then finish the race. I swear to you, this is the biggest sack of shit I've ever had the disgrace of playing with on a freaking video game. This fucking controller always unplugs its... Don't flip over, water. I am so freaking tired of this. I am so tired of having to reconnect this bullshit. I know, Michael, why don't you buy a controller that has batteries in it? I know this, trust me, I do, but I have not found one yet at the store, and I have yet to order one off of the Amazon or the eBay or the what the fuck. I know, it's on my to-do list, but until then, I'm gonna continue to get pissed off that I have this stupid piece of shit in my possession! Can I get one more, one more rollover out of that fucking corner, please? How am I gonna get over? See, come on, I, come on. You could do it. There you go. Use the wall to your advantage. Oh, okay. I wasn't even really trying there. Again, someone, can someone help? Help me. What the hell happened down here? It looks like all the cars were just abandoned. But what the fuck are the cars doing? Why are they in their pit boxes backwards? These two have finally professed their love for each other. Yeah, where do you think you're going, bitch? What the fuck? I'm seriously waiting for I Am Legend and his dog to pop out any second. What the hell is this? I like how Candy Cane is still making laps. Why are... Jemai's the only one with the decency to pull in the pit box, right? Alright, you need to be put fucking down. I can't say that I know exactly what the hell this video has been. I, 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 I can't. But I can tell you this. We're going to bookend this shit with oncoming shits at the restrictor plate shits. So I hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see where the hell I end up now. You know what's wrong? That was the lamest fucking flip over I've ever seen! I still wanna know what the fuck happened. I hit Jeff Gordon Ramsay. Whoa, wait a minute. Wait a goddamn second here. Can I, little tiny boop. Fuck. I showed Kyle Bush my ass. What happened here? I hit Jeff Gordon Ramsay, my controller's unplugged. What else is new? That just was so simplistic. I think that's a word. What are they wrecking over there for? I never even got to Tony Raines. Jeff Gordon Ramsay. Vickers. 
How the fuck did you end up over there? Well, Vicar's shit is already fucked up, but honestly, it kind of always was. Let's find out where, how, who, what. He gets pot all by Jeff Gorman. Yeah, he went for a ride. Damn, I really wish this would have been the end of, uh, whoa! He used the flux capacitor and fast-forwarded that shit. And he just got stuck like that. I wish that would have happened in the 06 fall, Talladega. And then Gemma would have cruised around to victory. He's just going to sit there like a fucking duck. You ever notice how a duck just sits there and looks at you? That's Vickers right now. Quack, quack. He's trying to turn the wheel? Oh well, turning the wheel, getting the tires to move, actually seemed to be beneficial. Jeff Gordon Ramsey, give us a show. Let's end it on a high note. You popped the wall, you got popped in the ass, and then you started flipping, and Vickers is just going crazy over there. Did you, it looked like you went in the track a little bit. Ow. I like, though, you could get damage in this game, and then another car hits you, and it repairs your damage. It's quite remarkable. There's Vickers' ass. Oh, and after all that, I guess he got popped enough. Enough cars hit him and then fixed his shit. He was able to keep going. He's got that, like, that bend, you know, that the freaking the, the hot dog without the wiener look to him. I ain't, I ain't. This game is just... I don't even have words for it anymore. It's been three videos and I'm already out of words. It's so fucking stupid. It's so astronomically stupid that they, they even decided to put this out into the world. The world became more of a fucked up place with NASCAR 08 on 360 out in it. I do not like how grainy that Pepsi logo is. That bothers me. I'm done. Hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you guys for watching. I love y'all. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!